All right, so today we're gonna to be going over the 2019 Winnebago View. Now this particular floor plan is the 24J. Uh, the View is built on a Mercedes Sprinter chassis with a V6 188 horsepower turbo diesel engine. This unit is equipped with the optional aluminum Alcoa forged rims. Our slide out here does have a fabric slide topper above it there. And then below our slide out on this side, we have storage all the way across here. And then right up here, we have a black waste tank flush inlet for flushing out our black tank. And then right below that in these compartments down here is where all of our water hookups are gonna be. Got outside shower, gate valves, and our water pump switch out here. And then directly next to that is where we can roll up our shore power cord. And we also have some plugins on the back for extra solar panels and a portable satellite dish. Uh, here in the back, we have our ladder, which will give us some access to our roof. A little bit up higher there is our camera, our rear view camera. And then we also have our high mount brake lamps kind of towards the middle here. And as we go down, we have electric stabilizers here in the back, which is going to give us some more stability when we're camped. And we can tow 5,000 pounds with this chassis. Right here, we have a gravity fill for our fresh water tank. So just easily put our hose in there to fill up our fresh water tank with a lockable door. Storage right here, which is accessible from inside the coach. And there is a light in there as well. Storage right below us here. This one's more of a wet storage. There's no carpet in there, so we could store some dirty, uh, dirty shoes in there or anything that's kind of damp. And then right next to us is our diesel generator, which is an upgraded option. One last storage compartment here right next to our entry door. Uh, we do have hookups towards the top of this compartment with uh, 110 volt hookups and then an uh, antenna hookup for an outside TV. And then right next to us there on the other side is our 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. And then right by our entry door here up high, we have our LED porch light, two marine grade outdoor speakers, and then our full length awning. So our steps are automatic steps here. So every time we open up the door, those steps are gonna come out. And then right inside the door down low there, we have our awning switches for our awning light and our awning in and out. And right above us, we have our DVD player slash radio. Okay. Right as we walk in here, we do have a powered skylight. So just a push of a button, we can open up that skylight, get a little breeze going in. The skylight does have shades on either side. So on one side, we have a bug screen. On the other side, we have a blackout shade. So right up front here, we have a cab over bunk. We do have some cubbies for storage below the bunk. And then we can just flip this down and attach our ladder to these two points here and sleep up there. We do have privacy blinds on either side, which do close. Both of our chairs up front here do swivel around for extra seating here. And then we do have quick easy setup for front cab privacy with pleated blinds up front. Over here in the dinette area, this does fold down into a bed. And there is also three places for people to sit when we're going down the road. So we can seat a total of five people in this vehicle. And we do have MCD roller shades on all of our windows in the coach here. With more of a screen here and then a blackout shade right, behind, right in front of that. We have LED lighting above our dinette here as well as... USB power points there on the left side. Here above our kitchen area, we have a 28 inch uh, HD TV with storage behind that. So behind that TV, we can hook up a satellite receiver and have that plugged into our TV right there. We have high cabinets here and on the other side in our slide out as well. The inside of this coach has a high gloss finish on all of our cabinetry. 
In our kitchen area here, we do have sink covers, which is gonna give us a little bit more counter space when we're not using our sink. And then a glass top for our two burner stove top. And below that, we have full extension drawers like a little bit deeper as we go. And it's a pretty spacious storage below our kitchen sink here with cold water filtration. Our refrigerator here is a compressor driven refrigerator, so it's not the absorption style, so we don't have to be perfectly level to run these refrigerators. This is our freezer portion up top here. And down below we have our refrigerated portion. Right above our refrigerator here, we do have a couple different buttons and gadgets. Um, this is our solar charge controller, so we have two 100 watt panels on the roof right now. It can hold up to another 200 watts. The one place panel here is going to show us our battery levels, tank levels, and we can also operate our water pump and water heater from there. This is how we can turn on our 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Slide out control for right here for our room slide. And our drainage system is heated with 12 volt heated pads. And we do have a remote shut off for our LP in here. And right below that is our on off for our Cummins Onan RV diesel generator. So right over here, we have a bit more storage on this side. We do have a clothes hanger rack up top there for hanging some clothes in there, and it's a pretty spacious storage. Right above that is our microwave convection oven. Right. Here in the back, we have our corner bed with adjustable headrests. It is a foam mattress on a deluxe Froley sleep system. And we can also access that storage from the outside right here. And right over here, uh, we do have another blackout shade in the bedroom area, as well as overhead storage all around us here. Towards the back, we have some reading lights, as well as USB power points on either side, and 110 volt connections on the right there. And we also have a 24 inch HD TV here in the bedroom. So our bedroom here does have a privacy shade, which just pulls around. A quick setup. And then right over here, we have a towel rack by our sink for our bathroom Quick setup. Storage below our sink. And we also have a medicine cabinet right above us with a mirror. So our bathroom here in the back is not a wet bath. We do have a porcelain toilet. Roof vent there in the top with a powered fan. So up front here we have a 9 there in the shower, LCD display for our rear view monitoring yes. system. Uh, this also has Rand McNally GPS on it as well. So right off the bat this is our rear view camera. We have a couple different settings. We can do horizon which is kind of a far out view. If we hit normal it's going to kind of look at if our tow vehicle if we had one. And then a the hitch is going to zoom in on our tow vehicle hitch. And we can go to, we got a couple different settings here. We can do radio. This is equipped with Sirius XM. Hook up your phone with Bluetooth, and we do have that Rand McNally GPS. And that was the 2019 Winnebago View 24J. We have this unit in stock. Stock number is 10367. Uh, if you all have any more questions, feel free to call or stop in. You can view the motorhome on our website at winnebagomotorhomes.com. We've been a Winnebago dealer for 52 years now, so feel free to stop in and see what our many years of experience can do for you. Um, if you have any other questions or concerns, click on the link in the description for more info. Thank you.